Newcastle. Number one champagne drinkers in the country, right? Across the bar. Yeah, that's right. Highest spend across the bar is Newcastle. Highest spend in terms of actual volume is obviously yeah. here because of the population. Mm. Highest spend domestically is Cheshire, which All right. coincidentally is where I've got another bar this weekend. <laughs> and I've been to put the ring up and find out how they're doing. So I'm hoping that they will be selling loads of bottles and loads of cases for all them wags. Tell right. us a little bit about what we're going to drink now. Alright. Three grapes grown champagne, okay? Chardonnay, Pinot Meunier and Pinot Noir. And this is a, this is a traditional champagne. The traditional champagne will always have the three grapes. So this is very even blend. 30% Chardonnay, 30% Pinot Meunier, 40% Pinot Noir. It's going to be light, crisp, apples, pears, very refreshing. He's doing the business. I can tell his camera's going out of focus. And that's just with him sipping the champagne. Fresh. Right, so that's your starter for 10, right? That's my house, so you know. But after that, it's only going to improve. Now, each grape does its own little job. Right, the Chardonnay gives you all the high notes. The Pinot Noir gives you all the low notes. The Pinot Noir is like the body of the champagne. It's giving you the spice, it's giving you all the robust flavours, the open berries and the big long finish. You're getting all the frills from the Chardonnay and you've got to get from one to the other. And that's what the Pinot Meunier grip does, okay? It builds a bridge. This one's going to show you exactly what I mean. So this is a really unusual Premier Cru. This is La Chapelle Brute Instinct. This is 15% Chardonnay, 72% Pinot Meunier, so it's a whopping great big lump of Pinot Meunier, 30% Pinot Noir. It's going to ping you like a pear drop and then you're off on this big, long, honey almond bridge. A bit of apricot going on in there. This one's a much rounder one, got some depth to it. It's warming it, warming it up. It's going to be fabulous with quite meaty dishes. You know, like a pate, something like that, it came to read really, really the business. This guy's my hero, you know. This guy's my hero. What's like this here? What would you say is like this? That I don't think you're going to find... You're going to have to find a long... I've worked a long time to find a champagne like that. Because it's got such a such an unusually high Pinot Meunier content. But it really works. In terms of a big name, not really. The, my first one is the one that's going to be close to a big name. Right, that's why it's there. But, but it still sets itself apart and, and it's winning prizes and doing all sorts of things. Quality, quality cool. Or Long Perrier, the, um, the black label, the silver. The demi set, the demi set. That's the one that you're drinking, right? Yeah. La Chapelle. I, I entered this little taste test in the BBC. Mm -hmm. Blind taste test, we beat all the big names with it. Oh, did you? And he picked it for his 80th birthday show. When was that? Two years ago. Fantastic. Fantastic. Beautiful, man. Just one. Brucey. Brucey bonus. That's a Brucey bonus, yeah. Brilliant. Right, boys. So, how long have you. Five years. Researching, researching what tastes well. What Research, tastes... Researching was a year before we started trading with it. Right. And, and I've got like 30 different champagnes in the range. Okay. Um, when we come to a show, I only ever bring three or four because if you bring too many, then people get lost. People get lost. Yeah, that's right. So, keep it simple and then people know they can sign up for the newsletter. They know that the next show they're going to come, they're going to get something different to drink. Okay. Now, do you remember Space Dust Sherbet? Yes, Crack the pop on the tongue, right? Is that what really you unusual rosé, very crisp. It's almost crackly, crunchy texture, am I right? So I tell the about the rosé. Yeah. Crackly, crunchy, then it's wild strawberries and cream, and it's a big, long vanilla finish. Good choice. 5,000 bottles a year get that get made now by half. It's only 2,500 bottles that come in. So if you wanted something that added like that was exclusive, that's Different. pretty much exclusive. So how do we get the other two and a half thousand? I'm not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to rip you off. <laughs> the other two and a half are already sold. That's the thing. You won't let me have any more. That's, that's, that's fair enough. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah, that's fair enough.
like JC? I like the first one and the rosé the most. Um, I'm a rosé man, so we're going to buy a bottle. Um, but yeah, we're going to take this man details and we're going to go in. So, yeah, fantastic.